Kimchi is great. Kimchi fried rice is amazing. And when you wrap it all up in a little package and stuff a little secret inside, you're gonna be like, oh, tell me everything you know. One of my favorite foods in the whole world is arancini. And if you've never had it, it's basically risotto that is fried into a little ball. Delicious. Now I thought, what if I did that with kimchi? Particularly kimchi fried rice, and that's what we're gonna make first. First, heat up some oil in a pan, then add your chopped up kimchi, and cook it for about five minutes. Then stir in some cooked rice, mix it really well, and then you can add the kimchi liquid. After about a minute, make a little clearing and add water and gochujang, which is a Korean red pepper paste. Then add some sesame oil, sesame seeds, chopped up scallions, and shredded nori. Continue to cook it and stir just until it's all combined, and then set it aside to cool. All right, so I'm ready to form some balls. My rice has cooled down just enough so that I don't burn my hands. Now to prevent the rice from sticking, wet your hands a little bit with some water. Grab a good handful of the rice and make a little well, because you're gonna add some mozzarella cheese right in the center. Then kind of cup it. <laughs> you really wanna make sure that the cheese is enclosed so that it doesn't burst when you fry it up later. I'll show you how to do another one. It helps if you kind of press it into your hand. Add that cheese. It may sound a little odd to combine it with kimchi, but it's so delicious. Place these in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes just so they can really firm up and also wash your hands. The balls are ready. You know, there's that science that when it's colder, they really <laughs> firm up. So now I'm ready to dredge. Here I have some all-purpose flour and an egg. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this just to loosen it up. And the coating here is some panko, so it gets super crispy. This is gonna be your dry hand. This is gonna be your wet hand. <laughs> You're gonna try to keep one hand dry and one hand wet. Am I righty? So this one's always wet. The ball goes into the flour. Just dust it around and shake off the excess and dip it into the egg. Use your other hand. Let that excess drip off and then into the panko and use the other hand. I'm ready to fry. I've got my oil heated to 375. You just wanna drop a few at a time, don't overcrowd it, and just toss it around to get nice and crispy. Pull it out when it's golden brown. I'm gonna make those balls shine with some sesame seeds. And there you have it, fried kimchi rice balls. I hope you guys give this a try. I'll see you next time. Remember to just eat life. Come to mama. Mm. Wow.